Coach Ryan here. Today I'll be talking about why protein quality matters. Now to start, you may be setting lofty goals of 200 grams of protein per day and hitting set goals on your MyFitnessPal or whatever tracker you may be using. At the same time, you still may be falling massively short on a number of different essential amino acids making it, so it's almost pointless to be tracking in the first place. We have to consider protein quality amongst many other factors. Now looking at a few different ways we measure protein quality, there's been four main ways in the past Past, uh, in the past that we've actually measured it. There's been protein efficiency ratio, biological value, net protein utilization, and lastly, the most accurate of which is protein digestibility corrected amino acid score, very long one, otherwise known as PITCAS. I much prefer that. Um, but what this means, well, how this how this actually carries over to our diet, well, actually first, PITCAS, the way PITCAS actually takes its measurements is by looking at our essential amino acid requirements, looking at how many amino acids are actually in the food of choice, and then looking at how our bo body actually digests them. Now the reason this is important is because if we look at the common measurements of food, the PITCA score of a number of different foods, if we're getting our, our protein from less uh, less quality sources, we need, need much, much more to actually hit our goals. So what I mean by that, this is, if 100% of your protein for the day came from rice at 0.50, you may need another 50% of, of protein coming from rice just to hit your goal. So that 200 gram coal all of a sudden turns into something much, much more. If we look at 100% of it coming from black beans, all of a sudden we need 25% more to actually hit our essential amino acid goal, making it so that 200 grams you hit for the day may still be falling massively short. Now, having 100% of your protein come from black beans or rice, likely not the most realistic, but at the same time, a more realistic example would be 15% of your protein coming from black beans, 10% coming from peanuts, 10% coming from rice, 5% coming from wheat gluten. That adds up. That adds up quite a bit, and that's a very realistic example I see people go through versus having higher quality sources like chicken, beef, whey, protein, or eggs, casein, things of this nature that's actually going to hit your essential amino acid requirements. We have to consider protein quality when trying to hit our macronutrient goals, protein being a very important macronutrient for a number of different bodily functions. Thing that about covers it for this topic is Brian Morgan signing up.